Could Marvin, Jeffy, and Brooklyn Guy be facing their biggest challenge yet in the SML Five Nights at Freddy's series? Well, I think the next episode is coming out soon, and here's my theory. In a recent vlog, Logan hinted at the possibility of discontinuing the FNAF series, with Brooklyn Guy even saying episode 5 might be the last. But what if there's more to the story? In this video, we're going to explore the potential twists for what's coming next. But before we begin, most people don't know that if you don't like and subscribe, it tells the algorithm that you don't like that video or that creator. So if you want to make sure you see more of my theories, you should do that now. Thanks. Let's dive in. So Logan actually said that he may discontinue the SML FNAF series due to increasing production costs. Episodes are becoming too complex to produce. And not to mention, Logan became burnt out, especially after the end of Sister Location, where viewers criticized the ending a lot. Not to mention, he also broke his back. Brooklyn Guy even mentioned in episode 5 that it might be the last one. No, I think we're done here. I think 5 is enough. These are getting way too expensive, and the games just keep getting dumber, and honestly, I... I just don't care anymore. Leaving fans wondering if we've seen the end of the Five Nights at Freddy's SML series. But despite these concerns, the possibility of episode 6 still lingers. The future could be anything. So could there be one more night at Freddy Fazbear's for Marvin, Jeffy, and Brooklyn Guy? From Jeffy and Marvin's first night at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, the SML gang has faced countless horrors. Their journey began with innocent curiosity but quickly turned into a fight for survival. But of course, with a dash of humor from the SML style. On the first night, we were introduced to the scary animatronics, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. Then we saw how each night brought new challenges and even new animatronics, like Balloon Boy, Foxy, The Puppet, Springtrap, Ballora, and more. And out of the entire series, episode five was the craziest yet. They were stuck in the sister location when the robots went crazy and they had to crawl through mazes of vents. At that point, the set production was insane and you could tell at that point escaping almost felt impossible for them. One interesting thing though is that Brooklyn Guy has been there through it all. He's the central piece you could say. He's guiding them or sometimes just making things worse. Overall, he always seems to be right in the thick of it. All right, let's set the scene for our what if episode. Brooklyn Guy convinces Marvin and Jeffy to help him run a brand new Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. During the day, it's all about getting busy running the place and dealing with the customers. You can expect Marvin and Jeffy running around, setting up decorations, fixing up the old animatronics, and trying to keep everything in order. It's a chaotic episode, but they're starting to get the hang of it. Then we see them salvaging old animatronics, making sure everything looks perfect for the customers. Marvin is the more cautious one, trying to maintain some semblance of control, while Jeffy's just getting in his way and it's causing problems. We then see them salvaging animatronics like Scrap Baby and Molten Freddy. Everything seems fine during the day, and the animatronics are only part of the decor. But here's where it gets interesting. The animatronics aren't just for show. They've got a whole other freaky side that comes out after hours. As the sun sets, the pizzeria transforms into something straight out of a horror movie. The same animatronics that were harmless during the day started moving around, searching for anyone left inside. And you're already familiar with this picture. Picture a classic Five Nights at Freddy's episode. Marvin, Jeffy, and Brooklyn Guy now have to switch from managing the pizzeria to surviving it. They have to defend the pizzeria from these now evil animatronics. They're glued to the security cameras, tr tracking every movement of the animatronics. The doors need to be sealed to block their paths, and they have to stay on high alert to avoid being caught. We see each animatronic has its own creepy but funny behavior. Scrap Baby might sneak up when they're not looking, or Molten Freddy could be crawling through the vents. It's a constant game of cat and mouse. As the episode progresses, tension builds as they try to make it through the night. And just when things couldn't get any crazier, Junior unexpectedly jumps into the mix. We would have the trio hiding from an animatronic, hearts racing, when suddenly we hear a hey guys, Junior pops in giving them the scare of their lives, thinking that an animatronic monster has come up to kill them. But no, it's just Junior causing a problem. All right, but now it's time to dive into the juicy stuff, key plot points and some wild speculation I have. Imagine Marvin and Jeffy stumbling upon hidden rooms filled with old blueprints and creepy artifacts. These discoveries could reveal dark secrets about the animatronics or even the pizzeria's twisted history in the SML lore. Now here's a twist. Could there be a deeper connection to Mr. Winkle and his sinister plans? 
Maybe they uncover old recordings or documents that link Mr. Winkle to the creation of the animatronics or some other evil plot. And what about Brooklyn guy? He always seems to have a few surprises up his sleeve. Could he be hiding something from Marvin and Jeffy? Perhaps he knows more about the pizzeria's dark past than he's letting on. And why is Brooklyn guy always pulling Marvin and Jeffy into these dangerous situations? Is it just for the thrill or is there something deeper, something more sinister? Maybe he has a personal connection to the pizzeria that he's never talked about. Or what if Brooklyn guy's family was involved in the original creation of these animatronics and he's trying to uncover the truth himself? But Brooklyn guy might be using Marvin and Jeffy as pawns to help him piece together the pizzeria's dark history without revealing his true motives. His knowledge and insider information could be the reason they've managed to survive this long, but also why they keep getting dragged back into the danger. But what if Brooklyn guy had another reason for keeping Marvin and Jeffy around? Maybe he just really, really hates being scared alone. And let's not forget the new animatronics entering the mix, each with its own unique behavior and backstory, adding even more challenges for our crew. I mean, we did see how SML really went out of its way with adding unique characters adapted from the FNAF series to make these videos awesome. We could have Scrap Baby with her twisted appearance and claw hand. She could be revealed as a failed experiment, creating more mystery in the story, and her behavior unpredictable, making her the number one threat. Then we've got Molten Freddy, a fusion of Anard's endoskeleton and parts of other animatronics. He uses the pizzeria's vent to move around which makes him pretty hard to track. Another headache for our SMO crew. And of course, we have Lefty, officially called Lure Encapsulate Fuse Transport Extract. Who came up with this name? This is a horrible name. Lefty appears as a harmless bear at first, a cute one even, maybe. But as the night progresses, his true nature is revealed. Lefty could be a key to uncovering more about the pizzeria's dark past. Personally, I would also like to see a return of Penelope. We already saw her in sister location as Baby. So why not come back to return? It would make sense if she was Scrap Baby, but really we have no idea what Logan is going to do. So the SML crew needs to rely on each other more than ever. The stakes are higher, the animatronics are scarier, and the mysteries are deeper. And you know, with these guys, there's bound to be some hilarious jokes along the way. Maybe Jeffy tries to befriend an animatronic, and it almost works, until it doesn't. But finally, Marvin, Jeffy, Brooklyn Guy, and Junior are all gearing up to face off against a bunch of animatronics. The lights go out, eerie music kicks in, and suddenly, the animatronics are coming for them. Unlike the previous episodes, the animatronics become stronger. Each of these new monsters transform with unique abilities. Scrap Baby glitches out and acts unpredictably. Lefty hides in the shadows, waiting to strike, and Molten Freddy well, he's literally a walking mass of wires. That's pretty scary. Now the crew has to pull out all the stops. They set traps, use the security cameras to track the animatronics, and try to stay one step ahead. Jeffy, in a moment of unexpected bravery, tries to distract one of the animatronics to give the others a chance to escape. But here's where it gets even crazier. Brooklyn Guy reveals a secret he's been keeping. He actually has old recordings and blueprints from the owner, Michael Afton. But here's where it gets even crazier. Brooklyn Guy reveals a secret he's been keeping. He actually has a plan to gather all the remaining animatronics in one place and burn it down. He's going to burn down the pizzeria. It's a last-ditch effort to end the horror once and for all. And just when they think they're about to burn it down, they hear footsteps. Foxy the Pirate bursts out of the shadows, and while we all know he's been a friend before, he's been lying. He's not there to help this time. He's there to hurt. The place erupts in chaos. They have to split up. Marvin, Jeffy, and Brooklyn Guy each take on different animatronics to buy Junior time to set the place on fire, following Brooklyn Guy's plan. Jeffy ends up cornered by Foxy. It looks bad, but then out of nowhere, Marvin comes to the rescue. He then manages to trigger a trap that temporarily disables Foxy. They finally get a shot at the control panel. Junior, with his quick thinking, manages to fix the override just in time. He activates the fire suppression system in reverse, turning it into a fire starter. The animatronics start going haywire as the place catches fire, and now the SML crew has to navigate through the burning pizzeria, all while dodging the malfunctioning animatronics. The tension is off the charts as they make their final escape. As they run, they find a hidden door that was unlocked by the override. Inside, they discover a cryptic message hinting at an even greater threat. It's clear this nightmare isn't over yet but their current battle is drawing to a close. 
with the pizzeria engulfed in flames, they make a desperate dash for the exit. The building collapses behind them, and then the gang stands outside, catching their breath as they watch the fire consume the pizzeria. They know that while this place is gone, the animatronic secrets might still haunt them. And finally, they're back home. Marvin looks at Brooklyn Guy and says, I'm never coming with you again. Jeffy agrees, but then Brooklyn Guy chuckles and says, well, there's a help wanted sign at the new pizzeria. Interested? And I think this is the hint that they're going to do another episode after this one. Well, I hope you enjoyed my take on what could happen in the next Esmo FNAF video. What do you think? Will Marvin and Jeffy really stay away from animatronics? Or is another adventure just around the corner? Leave your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share with your SML friends to see what they think about this theory and subscribe for more exciting theories and updates. If you want to watch more of my amazing theories, they're on screen right now.